What the f What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's finally here, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I actually just recently watched the first one this morning for the very first time. Can't believe it took me that long. So going into this sequel, it was just great to go back to back and just not even have to really wait. So I guess that's the positive side. Can't believe it took me so long to see the first movie. It's great to see the new design on Sonic uh, in the first and second movie because the first trial that they had did not work and you know we compared them and wow it's what a difference it, it the movie would be nowhere near the same if it was the same design from the first time that they tried to release it so i'm so grateful that they just decided to change it based off the fans opinion so this movie was directed by jeff fowler the writers are pat casey and josh miller of course you have ben schwartz as sonic Idris Elba as Knuckles and Colleen O'Shaughnessy as Tails. Jim Carrey plays Dr. Ivo Robotnik and he did one hell of a job. James Marsden plays Tom. Tika Sumter plays Maddie. And Natasha Roshwell plays Rachel and did an, an amazing job. What a hilarious, hilarious person that they chose for that role. The basic plot of this movie is that Sonic finds out based off a map that he has that there is a certain power a certain gem that is all-powerful or the ultimate power. Knuckles finally comes into the fold and him and Robotnik are trying to get this power together at, so they form an alliance. I won't dive that much into anything because I don't want to do any spoilers, but just know that this movie is a CGI explosion of amazing, amazing storytelling. I will say that in the first one, I did like the story a lot more. It was more concise and to the point not that this story is bad at all, there's just a lot more elements in this story and a lot more characters, which that is also another positive. I only have one real negative with the movie and I wouldn't even call it a negative, just a little comment, I guess. There are about 10 to 15 minutes of a certain event happening that if you took that out of the movie, it wouldn't really take away from the movie. However, it being in the movie also doesn't take away from it from the movie. So I guess there's no real issue with it. It's just like, you can tell that that didn't need to be there, but it was still good because it was a very, very funny sequence in the movie. So yeah, I love how they adapted the video game to this movie. It, it was just such an amazing time for longtime Sonic fans and just seeing the characters on the big screen and how amazing they did with the CGI. It was just awesome, man. Like I was in there geeking the whole time because it was just crazy to see that we are in a time where movies like this not only exist but are they look so good they look so beautiful and crisp and then it was also really funny you know it was lighthearted and like true sonic fashion a way of doing things it, it was just a nice time with the roomies to see something that we've you know dove into from our childhood oh great the winter soldier so as i said before i really like this movie a lot i'm just unsure as to which movie i like more because there's elements about the first one that i really love and there's elements about the second one that i really love as well so it's really hard to decipher which one i like better overall i'd have to say this movie was really well done props to the actors and actresses and the voice actors tasha roshwell and Jim Carrey, oh my god, <laughs> they, they both really killed their roles. Jim Carrey obviously did a little bit of a better job because he had to be more wacky and out there and psychotic, but they both were amazing in their roles. Like I couldn't think of two better people to play their characters and that they would have done that good of a job. Idris Elba as Knuckles was also a great casting choice. Just his sarcastic way of speaking or serious way of speaking as well is was actually pretty funny to see him interact with Sonic and Tails and just the whole movie, man. The whole movie, it's just a good time. It's a good time. Unworthy. I really wish I had more things to say about the negatives about this movie, but in the real spectrum of things, there's not that many negatives in this movie. The only thing that I would say, as I said before, was just, you know, that whole 10 to 15 minute period where it seemed a little out of place, but still OK. That's literally it. You know, I don't I don't really have anything else. There wasn't really that many slow moments. Comedy was always pretty darn good. And yeah, again, the story was a little all over the place, but you were still able to follow it. So not that many negatives here, folks. Just go see this awesome movie. So thank you for stopping by the channel. I greatly appreciate it. 
and I really hope that if you haven't seen it yet that you definitely go see it because you're not going to be disappointed. You're going to have a good time with this. You're going to laugh. You're going to feel a little bit and it's going to be great. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can get a notification anytime there's a new video. Thanks again for stopping by. Until the next one.